just finished clearing out the back of the truck because we need the bed empty today. Why? Because we are picking up some really cool essentials for our future travels. Hey guys, my name's James. And I'm Ashley. We sold our house and we are traveling across the country with our kids. My name's Goose and this is Maverick. Come join us. Good morning, Chicklets. How are you guys doing today? So this, this is weird, okay. So for you guys, it feels like just a normal vlog, but for me, I haven't picked up the camera and vlogged in probably two or three weeks, which is forever for me, being a daily vlogger for so long, or at least a bi-weekly vlogger. So it has been weird. And the reason why, for you guys, it feels like no time has passed is because, for those of you that don't know, while we were traveling across the states on this crazy journey over the past like nine months, uh, we got behind. So at a point, we we're up to like three months behind. So when a video was going live, we were actually three months further than that video. So that is why I kind of took a break and not, or a hiatus over this summer period of time so that we could catch up and just be more real time with you guys and have more of that instant feedback and uh, conversation with you guys. But for those of you that don't know, uh, we are actually staying here at Ashley's parents' house. So behind this tree, right back there, uh, we are in Madras, Oregon, the central Oregon, just north of Bend, which is kind of like the hub of central Oregon. And for most of the summer, this is where we're gonna be. The fifth wheel is staying here permanently. Ashley's coming out of the fifth wheel and she doesn't want me to see her because she is currently getting dressed. <laughs> But just because our home base is here in Madras doesn't mean we're not gonna be doing travels this summer. In fact, we've already gone up to my dad's uh, lake house thing in Woodland and gone to uh, Lake Merwin, which is always a blast. Uh, if you guys haven't seen any of those videos, I'll go ahead and link them up right there. There's a playlist of all of our vlogs up there, the cabin, tubing, wakeboarding, diving underwater, I've even done some short films up there. So we always have a blast up there. So we do have some travels planned, but today I am really excited about. I just finished clearing out the back of the truck because we need the bed empty today. Why? Because we are picking up some really cool essentials for our future travels. We are headed into Bend, Oregon, which actually where we used to live, to visit a place called Zamp Solar. In fact, they're one of the largest US companies that do off-grid solar. So we are really excited to go check out this place. We're gonna tour their factory and we are partnering with them so that way we can eventually upgrade our RV to solar and do some much more insane, crazy, off-grid adventures for our next trip that we have planned after the summer. So without further ado, let's pack up, head into Bend, and we'll talk to you guys more about it there. James has already told you that we are headed to Zamp Solar to pick up our solar panels, which is just crazy to think about. But we brought this little one along. What? And we are going to use this as kind of like a field trip to help teach her about solar. <laughs> so we're gonna use this opportunity to help teach Goose about solar and using the sun's energy to have electricity. And yep. I'm kind of- And look, we're going to be doing more boondocking. Yeah. yeah. We talked about how this will allow us to do more boondocking, which is exciting. And actually be able to use the microwave. And actually be able to use the microwave. That's a promise. But the thing that I am most excited about, I'm going to be able to have my coffee in the morning. What, what? Anyway. So we are headed to Zamp Solar. It is that's a, a that's always with mom likes. <laughs> we are so excited that it is a local company in a place where we used to live, which is just crazy. It's actually like five minutes from where I used to work. Yeah, it's we were excited. Anyway, headed there and then afterwards we're gonna take this little one on a date. date. What? So in true Chick's Life fashion, we are running super late today to get here, which I feel so bad for, but we've made it to Zam Solar, and I'm really excited to show you guys the factory. This is cool. I love seeing how things are made. Have you guys ever seen that show? The How It's Made show on Discovery Channel? I love it. It's super simple, but I love it because I am one of those nerds that has to figure out how things work, so I'm really excited about this. Zam Solar. Yay. Do you know what these are, kiddo? What is that? Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, and you guys check this out. This thing is so cool. They have these uh, tables and things scattered around this place. Furniture made out of solar panels. That's awesome. So I was telling them that, okay, correct me if I'm wrong, you guys are one of the biggest off-grid US-based solar places? We are one of the only ones that actually manufactures in the US okay. for off-grid solar. Okay, so I was close. If not the only. But there's this big detail. So uh, this is more, she's the one hooking us up with the tour today. I'm very excited. As I was saying, I'm one of those nerds that could binge watch how it's made. So coming in here and getting to see how all these things are put together, I'm very excited um, about it. Let's go. <laughs> what are you doing? So Goose, can you tell me what a solar panel is? Do you know what it is? What does a solar panel do? <laughs> yeah, you weirdo. <laughs> you weirdo. A black what, what? Really? Yep. Do you love your pickup? Is it fun to travel? I love it. <laughs> are these okay to have on their side? Yeah. Oh, nope, are don't, you shut him in don't lock them in. lived here before you were born. We used to take a raft and float down this river here just like these people are doing. Agents of the other Beyond gravel, beyond Is that a real one? Well, I wonder if somebody was recording. Sorry. So it sounds like they're doing a sound check at the amphitheater over there. This is the Old Mill District here in Bend. This is one of our favorite places that we went to when we lived here. So we always love coming here, walking along the river, eating at the restaurants on the river. Super cool place. I mean, it's definitely touristy. They even have these little bicycles that you can rent to ride around. But even still, we still love coming here. It's a cool vibe. It's epic when you can get out there and float on the river. We used to have this big, huge, like eight man raft that we would cruise down the Deschutes on. Such good memories there. But now we are going to get mommy, or not mommy, we're gonna get goose. Oh my goodness, this is like made for you, goose. Yeah, we did, you, we did her and then me. <laughs> Make sure you follow on Instagram to see those pictures. So what are we getting here, goose? What are we looking for? Earrings. Earrings. So they don't go through her ear. Sunglasses. Unicorn sunglasses. <laughs> You're hilarious. <laughs> so what kind of earrings are you getting other than your cool uni glasses? They are unicorns. Of course. <laughs> and stars. And those, those, are, those are bright. Kind of Very cool. Mommy I like saw it. those. Mommy saw those. Mm -hmm. Thought, oh, Daddy would like that. So the earrings she had were literally embedding into her ears. Like the backside of it was like halfway through her ear, 
and apparently she wasn't really bugging her because she didn't complain about it. Then we saw it, we're like, okay, we need to switch out those earrings. If we had waited a little bit longer, it would have gone all the way through. It's like gauging her ears. Oh. So we're getting some fun little earrings in here. I was hoping they had some like RV earrings of some sort. Oh. Coffee mug earrings. Coffee mugs. They do have the Starbucks mug, we saw that. But I looked all over the store and I can't find anything RV related. I figured there'd at least be an Airstream in it. Come on. On a hundred degree day like this, guys, there are so many people in the water. I can't oh, even count how many. Oh, is there a puppy on the water? Yeah, there's a husky. On the... <laughs> Looks like Shelby. If only Apollo liked water. Uh, this does make me nostalgic okay. and make me miss it, babe. Do you ever miss living here? Yes. It was good. Oh, yeah. They're doing a sound check for the amphitheater. All right, let's see the new shades. How do you okay, look? But you'll grow into them. Let me see. Oh, so cute. <laughs> All right, I think we are done here in Ben. We're gonna head back to Grammy and Pops' house. And finally going air conditioning. And then I'm gonna start wrapping my brain around how we're gonna do this solar install because as you know, I am not the most technical person in the world, but I like to figure out how things work. So I'm gonna be figure, I'm gonna be spending a lot of time watching tutorials, reading blogs, trying to figure out the best way to do this solar slash battery install. Okay guys, let me take you back. Let me take you back a decade to when a <laughs> baby-faced little James freshly graduated from college and moved in to that house right there here in Bend, Oregon. And then what was it? How many weeks or months later was it when you finally moved in with me? A year and a half. Two months. So we were already engaged, but uh, she was, were you finishing up school or were yeah, we working? Yeah, I was finishing up school. So uh, I moved over here because I got a job at the TV station here in Bend, Oregon. And this was our first townhouse duplex apartment thing. I think it was $650 a month, which was amazing. Way back before you were even a thought in our mind. Hmm. That was the house that we lived in right here at the base of Pilot Butte. So we just wanted to do a little throwback, show you guys our old stomping grounds. We always love coming here because for a couple years, this is where we lived. This is our first home together when we were married, where all sorts of craziness happened. Sledding and recycle boxes down the hill over here. Yes. Oh, uh, good memories. Chunkamunk! Are you ready to feed some alpacas? Hi puppy. Boy or girl. What are we doing? Oh, did you get it? Nice. Did you hear her little screech? You gotta hold her finger down. Here, eat the baby's hand. Hey, up here, guys. Oh, <laughs> yay! No <Little> man. <laughs> All right, let me have some of that. I want to see how it feels. Ooh. Oh, 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 well, you were going to town. Wow, it bit me. <laughs> That's terrifying. That's worse than feeding the wild deer. Did it bite you? Yeah, the first one was like, oh. the first one is gummy, but the second one went after me with the teeth. Come over here. Come over here. Hold your hand like this. Hold it like this. 
Okay guys, so we are right next to Smith Rock. Actually, if you look back there, Smith Rock is just back there. And there's this alpaca farm that is just right off the highway here in Terrebonne. So if you're coming to Smith Rock and you have kids, or you like alpacas, for $3 you can get a bag of feed and come feed the alpacas here. So Goose is really excited about this today. Oh, did she get it? Did Mav do it? Oh, 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 she did it. Good job, Mav. Nice job. She goes, I'm not sure about All right, Goose, we're you gonna go down and find some more? There's a whole part of them down there. Is it a herd? What is a group of alpaca called? What is that thing? Yeah, I don't know either. It looks weird. Did you see the baby, kiddo? Mav, did you see the baby? The baby drinking from his mommy. Get some more. Get some more. She wants to do one at a time. Here, grab up, grab some. See, grab some like this. See? Yeah. Yeah. One at a time is all you guys get. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For some reason, they're not interested in just the one piece there, Maverick. I don't know why. There's the baby Paca. Just strutting her stuff. Look at how skinny she is comparatively. Say bye bye, alpacas. Bye bye. Maverick, can you say bye bye? Can you wave? Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> you clapping for him? All the food is gone. All right, let's go. I am so excited for our solar upgrade. Ashley is acting like a weirdo back here, <laughs> trying to distract me while I'm talking to you guys. Uh, anyways, so excited about our electrical upgrade. Even though Ashley is making weird faces at me and pointing fingers, uh, next step is getting the Don't batteries. <laughs> Next step is getting the batteries and the inverter so we can get that installed. In fact, I think the next video you guys are going to see is me heading over the mountain to uh, get these things installed at Camping World. I cannot wait for what this next season holds. I'm totally going to put an embarrassing picture of Ashley in here just to make up for the fact that she's being annoying. So until next time, guys, remember, stay positive, get out there. Life is an adventure, so make some memories.